He said, so sad as this did not have to happen. It didn't have to be this way. Republicans, many of them, at least initially, saw the insurrection for what it was. You heard them say it. They understood clearly what happened and who was responsible. The mob was fed lies. The president bears responsibility for Wednesday's attack on Congress. They were provoked by the president and other powerful people. He should have immediately denounced the mob when he saw what was unfolding. Trump and I, we've had a hell of a journey. I hate it being this way. Oh my God, I hate it. The violence, destruction, and chaos we saw earlier was unacceptable, undemocratic, and un-American. It was the saddest day I've ever had as serving as a member of this institution. To those who wreaked havoc in our capital today, you did not win. Violence never wins. Freedom wins. This has been a truly tragic day for America. And we all join together in fully condemning the dangerous violence and destruction that occurred today in our nation's capital. Today, the People's House was attacked, which is an attack on the Republic itself. There is no excuse for it. A woman died, and people need to go to jail. And the President should never have spun up certain Americans to believe something that simply cannot be. Chaos, anarchy, the violence today was wrong and un-American. Oh. On that day and over the days that followed, Republicans were saying virtually the same things that Democrats were saying about the assault and who was responsible. But the backsliding, it began almost immediately. On the evening of the 6th, 147 Republican lawmakers, including Elise Stefanik, who you saw there, and Kevin McCarthy, who you just saw, still voted to overturn electoral counts from the states. And again, all but 10 House Republicans would later go on to vote against impeaching the former president. Kevin McCarthy, of course, would pave the way that made the pilgrimage a lot better to make nice with the man you just heard him say bore responsibility for the attack on Congress. At least Stefanik, too, she would replace Liz Cheney in the GOP leadership, a reward for her loyalty to the former president. And so would begin the year of gaslighting. 